Chadsmore Progressive. Chadsmore Progressive from Staffordshire. And Sale Excel uh, there from Sale near Altrincham, Manchester. Sale Excel won this competition in 1980 and almost won it in 1981. Chadsmore have been in the final before against Walton Cons um, and they were just narrowly defeated in 1986. The draw is Chris Morrison versus Dave Moore, Peter Shasher versus Cliff Johnson, Neil Jenkson, it's Frank Turner, these are Sale XL lads I'm reading out first, Tommy Johnson versus John Turner, Dave Jenkinson versus Phil Spencer, Roy Armson versus Norman Dorks, Mike Alden against Les Evans, and Noel Burroughs, if he turns off, will be playing Mel Evans. Les Evans is uh, Mel's father. And the two turners on, well, they're cousins. So four blocks are on the green at any one time. And we're going to view on the Moore and Morrison game. And Moore, it's Moore's block, he's just aiming down in the far corner there. We'll spend about 10 minutes on each game. They're playing for 600 pounds. And the referee is uh, Mr. John Dayton. He'll be refereeing for about 20 minutes each. So, Sale have, of course, played the semi-finals on this green, so um, they should know the swing of it at the moment, whilst Chad's more progressive have just been on green number two. Quite a difference in both greens. <laughs> we'll try and bring you some scores as the games progress. So Chris Morrison goes in. It's 1-0. It's the first end. Sale <laughs> XL made the favourites. Uh, they see this green, dare I say it, more often than chance more progressive players. Also, just going on the green, by the way, to make up the first four pairings is uh, Neil Jenkinson. He's playing Frank Turner. And uh, Tommy Johnson playing John Turner. So Morrison still lying one on in the corner news to the club. All games 21 up off scratch. There's quite a few spectators around the green. It's a nice day. And of course drinks been served most of the day, so one or two uh, got probably get excited. So two to more makes it two one to more. Derek Moore, by the way, not Dave Moore. <laughs> Just 
chance more in the semi-finals, by the way, beat uh, Mitchell Darby very comfortably, uh, 167 to 104, whilst uh, Sale Excel, that they also came through very easily against Longwood. Longwood, a, a Yorkshire side, they won 157 to 121. Good draws here, Tommy Johnson playing uh, John Turner. Both regular county players. Frank Turner playing young Neil Jankinson. Peter Cheshire playing Cliff Johnson. Oh. Plenty of ball and experience on the green at the moment. So, two more to more. So that makes it 4 1. Leeds Morris. striking going on in the middle of the green. Two strikes at two ends there between Neil Jenkinson and uh, Frank Turner. <laughs> oh, Chris Morrison reached with his first ball. It's a decent ball, about a yard from the jack. Gets it back, does Derek there, Derek Moore. Just clips inside uh, Morrison's first ball. Oh, Morrison, I think just goes in again. His wood fell over, but I think it's probably still counting. So, 2-4, off the mat. Two more to Morrison, that's four across.
watch uh, Cliff Morrison's delivery. Um, it's like for like with Roy Armson's delivery. So Morrison plays a very good ball now. It's probably a finger peg they playing. Yeah, there's a bit of a strike on here. Well, wow. I made a mess of that. Uh. Derek Moore. I think meanwhile, I think Frank Turner's playing well against Neil Jenkinson. Neil Jenkinson very short with a, a ball there. And Tommy Johnson's just in front on the, uh, I think it's the fourth block on. Tommy, of course, in excellent form. Derek Moore is playing finger peg. He's got a good yard over, but Morrison really played a bad ball now with his first one. Just got a score coming through at the moment. 4 2. Frank Turner against Neil Jenkinson. Morrison this time making amends with a good ball. So that's five across. Strike there by John Turner against Tommy Johnson. Got a two out of it. I think, meanwhile, Frank Turner's leading Neil Jenkinson. And uh, Cliff Johnson against Peter Cheshire. I think 
that's about level. So nobody running away with uh, the games at the moment. It's six hundred pounds for the winners, three hundred for the runners up. Playing a, it's a finger peg, quite a short mark for the screen. That's an excellent ball uh, from Derek Moore. Just fell back, so probably just gone in. So, 6 7. Six seven it is. We're going to leave that game at the moment, and we're going to move on to the next game. It's Peter Cheshire and Cliff Johnson. Peter Cheshire for sale. Cliff Johnson. Chance more progressive. We'll try and get a score through. You know. Peter Cheshire won well in his semi-finals. So Peter Cheshire leading towards the camera. <laughs> Used to play for Lloyds, did uh, Peter Cheshire. I hear a bit of uh, frivolity over the uh, the film. Been quite a lot of drinking going on amongst our younger spectators. Oh, Cliff Johnson trying with this. Just drop short, so. Try bring your score on the uh, Cheshire and Johnson game. I think Tommy Johnson's leading uh, John Turner. <laughs> well, Peter Cheshire flying through there. Uh, Neil Jenkinson is 4-7 down, by the way, against Frank Turner. <laughs> Chris Morrison is about a couple of chalks in front against Derek Moore. I think Tommy Johnson's well in front against uh, John Turner. And the game we're watching we don't know the score yet, but uh, Cliff Johnson has got a side, almost a side toucher. 
He's going to try and get another one. So two good balls there by Johnson. Organiser of this tournament, by the way, is Roy Bate. Put a lot of well, put, puts a lot of work in uh, early on in the season, and also, of course, uh, in the previous season, he's got he's got to make contact with a lot of clubs, a lot of counties, find out which teams are going to be eligible for this tournament. And of course he has a great, uh, great staff in the background helping him. <laughs> so, Johnson. All uphill to the jack from where they're playing. He's lying a good ball on and almost getting a second. I'd say that would be two on for Johnson. Now Cheshire's really reached this time. He's off the land. So, two more for Johnson. Chance more progressive getting back into this game. In fact, they're all leading out with the jack. Chance more progressive, so... There's a bit of eye eye there from Mike Alden, and that's uh, meant Neil Jenkinson not Frank's good ball out. Chance more, all in their smart red jumps. Great lead by Johnson. Peter Cheshire not found the road with that one. All the bowlers say it's a great green to play, but very difficult. So another one to Cliff Johnson, sends his second ball in the ditch. Uh, in another game, Chris Morrison playing Derek Moore, he's... I'd say Chris Morrison was just a few chokes behind.
So, Cliff Johnson persisting playing right up to the corner. While well, some measuring going on between Neil Jenkinson and Frank Turner. Cheshire steps in. It's a good ball about two foot off the jack. So, good two there by Peter Cheshire. Again, we don't know the score of this game. Uh, Neil Jenkinson is 9-8 we think <laughs> so going the fast way Cliff Johnson Trying to beat a yard ball at the back. So well through with the second ball there. Eh? Oh, Heard a scroll that Tommy Johnson's about 19-6. Better just go to that. Tommy, he's been playing very well. Had a good result in the semi finals. Tommy. Tommy Johnson. So Tommy Johnson leading out. If we've heard the score correctly, it's 19-6 against John Turner. Certainly been playing this mark well, just over the middle, difficult part of the green, you've got to be smack on land. Been playing consistently, 12 inch, 2 foot balls.
So good start for Sale XL if Tommy Johnson comes off 21 6. So John Turner, it's an important ball for John. Got to play a saver. Well, it's going a bit, could run out. Mike Alden says wade in. It's a great win there, 21-6. Something that uh, Chad's more progressive don't want at this uh, stage of the game. Cliff Johnson, it might be about 9.13 against him in the uh, second game. Cliff? Cliff, what was that? The result that? Six? Oh, Cliff Hope tells me it's 21-6. The fifth game going on will be uh, Dave Jenkinson against Phil Spencer. Dave Jenkinson for sale. Now oh, we're just going on to Frank Turner's game with Neil Jenkinson. The only game we've not covered so far. It's uh, quite a good game actually. It's CCR in a bit. Neil Jenkinson's just going in there with a good ball. So to get back into the uh, into the competition, it means really the there's either got to be a big win by a chance more player or or the three of the first four come off winning by five or six chokes to bring back the deficit with Tommy Johnson's game against John Turner. Neil Jenkson set the block in the fast corner and Frank Turner's just almost broke the block, at least he's reached. Peter Cheshire must be in front of Cliff Johnson. Pulling as much in between the Jenkinson Turner game. Try and get a score. <laughs> Morrison might be just leading more. So if no brothers turn up in the Ray Aimer Classic, which is playing in this afternoon. And Cliff Hope will be going in the uh, in the hot place. So Neil Jenkinson playing the slow way up to the corner here. It's must be a difference of 10 yards in pace. Oh, Frank Turner's found it. Frankie, Frankie comes in for another.
Frank Turner had a good run in the uh, the Ring of Bells tournament last year at Weaverham. David Jenkinson, who's playing uh, Phil Spencer, Dave was telling me early on that uh, in the semi-finals he, he bowled a shocker, so whether he can uh, get that out of his mind and concentrate on the present game, we'll see. We'll go on to that game next after we've uh, seen a bit more of uh, his son Neil playing Frank Turner. Well, that just shows you on this green, you, know, you miss it by an inch, that's where your balls can end up. <laughs> well, it's a good ball going in, but... Uh, And whether Frank gives him two there, it makes him play it again. Well, it's good of Frank there, really, because uh, could have asked him to have another go. David Jenkinson, I don't think he scored yet in the fifth game with Phil Spencer, so... It's what Chad's more need, he's a big winner to get back into the tournament. Oh, Frank bowling well against Neil Jenkinson. Neil Jenkinson's bowling fairly well, but Frank always seems to come up with a good one. Charlie Tarbook will be the next referee on the green. Well, Frankie certainly went to Hollywood there, he's uh, two good jokes. Got a score, it appears that Frank Turner is 14 12. Roy Armson marking Neil Jenkinson's card, so he just shouted 14 12. We take it that's the score for the Turner Jenkinson game. Peter Cheshire against Cliff Johnson, that game's still going. Been running about three quarters of an hour. A bit better ball from Frank Turner. Almost a length, he's had to go round uh, Neil Jenkinson's front ball. Well, is Neil Jenkinson reached? Gonna give up. Two more to turn, so 16-12. Meanwhile, David Jenkinson's in the game now. He's just chalked two twos after a rough start. <laughs> just heard four across there, Jenkinson and Spencer.
bit of a loose end there, Turner and Jenkinson, there's one wood in the gutter and the ball about three to four yards either side of the jack. So Neil Jenkinson won. Makes it about thirteen sixty. We've still got Cliff Johnson and Peter Cheshire going out of the first four Chris Morrison against Derek Moore in the first four so those two could be close games we don't know the scores good attempt there by Frank Turner to beat a six inch ball of Neil Jenkinson's the green is in perfect condition some of them, uh, some bowlers have said that it's a little bit on the slow side So that's about 14.16 to Turner. So I'll just go back to uh, Chris Morrison's game. I think Chris Morrison is just in front against Derek Moore. Just heard a score coming out of about 15-14. That's either Morrison's game or Peter Chash's. So we've heard that it's about 1910. I think that's the Morrison Moore game. Phil Morrison on superb farm at the moment. And 
and that must be must be twenty. Fair lead there by Morrison. Bang up the row. Looks like finger peg. Another score coming through. We've got 15 across. We think that's the Peter Cheshire game. Cliff Johnson. So oh, Morrison, another comfortable win. I think that was about 21-10. Was that 21-10, mate? Excuse, was that 21-10? 14. So Morrison 21 14 against Derek Moore. So two winners off so far for sale and two fairly good wins. On the green, please. I'll have a, sorry, end off, I'll have a, end off. So just go back on to Peter Cheshire's game with Cliff Johnson. Sale after two blocks, a 22 up. Sixth block on, by the way, is Roy Amson. Sale playing Norman Darks. Norman Darks plays. Uh, Plays for the Staffordshire County side. Roy Almson, of course, is now back with Cheshire. And their county side. The other referees are. Uh, Mr. Scrowcroft, J. Scrowcroft, and Mr. G. Burgess. So Peter Cheshire in at the moment. Cliff Johnson sending his first ball into the gutter. Two more for Cheshire. I think that game's nearly up. 18-15 is the...
We've got an 18-17 score coming over. I think that's Turner and Jenkinson. Peter Cheshire now all but must be round about all but 15. So chance more progressive. Haven't had a winner yet in the first four. Second time, I think, Chad's more progressive been in the final. Great. 